Meantime, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he'll blame House Republicans for any government shutdown if they fail to pass spending legislation by the end of the month. Joining me now with the reaction is Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn, who is a member of both the Senate Finance and Senate Judiciary Committees. Senator, thank you for joining us uh, this morning. Sure. Also, you, you served in the House before you served in the Senate. Um, That's right. The Democrats, they want to put all the blame going into an election year on the Republicans. The Democrats have also asked for $12 billion as a bump up for FEMA funding, but $24 billion for Ukraine. There are a lot of people that want to see this, this question split. Um, what's your take on where we're at and what is going to happen with the funding? Yes, good morning, Jason. What we are hearing is the one person who is really pushing for a government shutdown is Chuck Schumer. And this is something he thinks would help him politically as he tries to hang on to the U.S. Senate, which, of course, we know is going to be very difficult for him to do and probably impossible. But what we do know is this, Senate Republicans House Republicans are pushing forward to get these spending bills across the finish line because this is how we take the power away from the White House, and this is what we can do to get inflation under control. And as you know, what we hear every day from people is inflation is crippling them. When you look at the increase in the price of groceries, when you look at what is happening with gas and what they're facing at the pump. People are saying, what can you do to bring down inflation? One thing we can do is to make certain that we take that power from the White House and we get these bills across the finish line. Now, part of the concern that Speaker McCarthy has expressed is that if you don't pass any sort of spending bills, then the investigation into the Bidens and the, the family corruption allegations, that that goes away. What kind of weight is that going to play in the Senate, and how do they negotiate and get their way through this in the House of Representatives? Because there's a lot of people believe that, Sen that Speaker McCarthy is in a, in a no-win situation and being able to get a stopgap funding bill passed in the House. What we do know is that the Democrats would like to have that government shut down because it would halt these investigations that the House is working on. And Chairman Comer, Chairman Smith, Chairman Jordan are continuing to push forward to get this information and to find out exactly what the relationship is between Joe Biden and Biden Incorporated. And archives, you were just talking about archives, not wanting to turn over all of these emails with the pseudonyms that Joe Biden was using as he was vice president. And they want to get those so that they have a record, so they have that paper trail of what the involvement was. And of course, we know that they're continuing to get bank records. And the American people, certainly Tennesseans, Jason, every time I talk with them, they want to know what happened, who was involved, and for people that did things wrong, they want them to be punished. Well, there are literally thousands of emails and pseudonyms and all kinds of things happening there. Um, uh, Senator, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you also a key question about leadership in the House uh, or in the, in the Senate uh, and in the House. Um, you have people that are having medical issues and seriously uh, cognitive issues in their ability to do their job, not just Joe Biden, which is well documented, but you have Steve Scalise, for instance, uh, the majority leader in the House, who's fighting, unfortunately, uh, blood cancer diagnosis, and we wish him nothing but the best. Senator Feinstein, Senator Fetterman are also dealing with hard, difficult issues, as well as the Senate minority leader, Mitch McConnell, who's had two medical episodes. Can these people continue to be in leadership positions, let alone serve in their capacities in the House and the Senate? 
Jason, I think the one that deserves our attention at the top of the list is President Biden, who is to be the leader of the free world. And one of the things that Americans should always want is for our enemies to fear us and for our friends to know that they are our friend and we're going to stick with them. And when you see Joe Biden struggle with words, with days, with times, with places, then it drives home the point of how important it is to have someone who is capable in leadership. And quite honestly, I don't think anyone wants to have a president, Kamala Harris. But, Senator, I, I do need to ask you about Mitch, Mitch uh, McConnell. I, twice he's been at the microphone and had a dramatic pause. There's some belief that he had, a, you know, an accident, a slip, a fall, perhaps a, a uh -huh. concussion. Can he continue to lead the Senate Republicans in that capacity? I've talked to people who were with him right after that, and he was alert and fine and moving forward, asking questions, uh, very involved with the meeting that he was attending, and seemed to be on top of his game. Senator Marsha Blackburn from the great state of Tennessee, uh, thank you so much for joining us on you Sunday Morning it. Futures. Do appreciate it.